All right, welcome to part four. Today we're gonna make a map to go with these lovely new characters that we made. So just real quick, you can see here, we've got, um, these are again, the overworld sprites. Um, if you know RPGs, you know what that means, but let's go ahead and right click new. And um, let's start with an outdoor scene. So let's say town, no, let's say farm. We could keep it to like one building. So farm. Now here in the tile set, um, let me let me show you this before we get into that. In the database, if you go down to tile sets, so you see overworld, like I said, then you got outside, which is what we're gonna use, and then you've got inside. So outside and inside are exactly what they sound like. They're meant for either outside or inside. And then you've got dungeon, which is like its own thing, obviously for dungeons. Now SF outside and SF inside are sort of like alternate palettes and objects that I'm still not 100% sure what they're for. They've got some cool stuff, it just depends on what you need in your scene. Like this one's got like food carts and and I don't know, neon signs and all that. Whereas the regular inside has like, you know, beautiful chairs and bookshelves and beds. This is most likely what you're gonna start with when you're doing a house. Same with outside, um, you've got plants, windows, etc. SF, inside. Oh, does SF mean science fiction? Because that's kind of what I'm getting here. I think I just figured that out while doing this tutorial. Anywho, that's kind of cool. All right. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do sci-fi farm. I don't know what that's going to end up looking like, but let's uh, let's just do it together. So we're going to do the outside first. Now, first thing you want to do, um, I think display name will actually show the name of it. I'm going to put poop. So if it says poop when I start the map, we'll know that that's what that does. Now your width and height are how big the map is, and you can make maps really, really big. So don't think you have to do small ones. I've seen people do like 512 by 500, whatever, but we're gonna keep it small because remember, just cause it's big doesn't mean it's good. You're still gonna have to map all that out and it's a nightmare. So let's just do 20 by 20, why not? Um, scroll type is if you have a looping background, which we do not, and you can loop it vertically, horizontally, or both. Uh, we're not gonna do that. BGM is music. BGS is like ambient sounds, like, you know, birds chirping or crickets or whatever. And then uh, battle back is whatever the battle theme will play when you're in this area. You don't have to worry about those right now. But if you want a song to play automatically, this is where you would do it. And then, you know. So you've got lots of things to choose from right there. Uh, I'm not going to play music because I'm going to have to keep doing that for this tutorial. But anyway, so let's go ahead and hit OK. Now we've got a 20 by 20 map. Did not mean to click that. And I'm going to zoom out a bit. Cause, yeah, so this is the whole map. Now, so it's a sci-fi farm. Let's see what we got. I know this is hard to understand at first glance, but basically all of these are actually looping tiles that work automatically. So even though you've got like this, look what happens when I connect them. They automatically connect together, which is very, very useful. Uh, it doesn't work for all tiles, but it does work for this first page. That's specifically what it's for. So let's always start with the ground and then you can add stuff on top of it because it's hard to work around the other way. So let's, oh God, I had to do sci-fi farm and be different. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer of water right here. So every farm's got to have some water. Right, and then we're going to put put this dirt path right here. And then we're going to go ahead and have some grass. We're going to put some more water back there. Do a wall like that. And then do that there. Okay, so here we've got our basic map. Now, here's a thing that's kind of hard to understand when you're looking at this. I know this looks like it's all just the same tiles, but you'll, you'll get a feel for this. These are all roofs and these are walls. And there actually is a difference because you can't walk on 
roof t uh, tiles, but you can walk on wall ones, I think. And then some are floor tiles. And you can always change this later. So let's say you really love this as, I don't know, a floor. You want this to be a floor. You must have it as a floor. If you go to database and go to SF outside, you can see here there's an X. That means you cannot step on it. Click again. A star means you'll go behind it. And again, with a circle means you can go on top of it. So when you go through these maps, if you need to change that, that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty straightforward. So everything you see here with a circle is meant to be walked on and everything with an X is not meant to be walked on. But if you go here, you can see these have stars, um, which means your character can walk behind them and they'll be in front of them, if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so since this is a sci-fi farm, go ahead and just put that up and we'll put a roof here and here we've got a dirt plot and then we'll well that looks weird well it is a sci-fi farm right Ooh, I don't like that okay whatever it's a sci-fi farm you get the idea um, Let's say over to the side, you got like this cool sci-fi shed thing. Wow. All right, so let's go to the B tab. Um, so here's where you can add like fun accoutrements. You can put like a little smokestack on top. Here's a little, little air conditioner to go on that building. Got some barrels. Got a trash can over here. Let's see, if this is a farm, I have this cool neon sign, put up these like sci-fi windows. All right, and then the door will go right here, which we will do in a second. Actually, so when you're doing a door, it takes up one square. I would recommend just put something there like that. And now let me show you how to make a door. So we're gonna switch over to the event gonna right click quick event creation and door it's that easy and you've already got a door here but we can double click that and change the door to one of the pre-made ones so we got door two um, honestly none of the doors are really ooh these are good these are new okay these might only be an MV so uh, I'm sorry MZ will oh SF door there you go haha <laughs> I never knew that SF stood for sci-fi. We'll go with this door. No, this one looks pretty industrial. So there you go. Okay, now when you double click this, this is where you tell it uh, to take the player, but we're going to set up another map for that. So we'll, we'll wait a second. But this is where you're going to say, um, transfer the player. So we can actually do it right here and I'll show you. So transfer the player, here so if we say okay now if you notice my character is still on this screen so we we need to do is if we want to start here we're gonna right click set starting position of player okay so now we're gonna start test this out and here we are so here we go see I can't walk through these walls and if I walk up to this door and press the button sends me over there and I can go to the door as many times as I need to whoops okay well they're not really meant for you to stay on the map but let's go ahead and fix that so let's make the interior so sci-fi farm inside and we'll set this SF inside we'll make this smaller we'll say 12 by 12 Okay, everything else is good. Boom. And there we go. So now we're inside this building. So let's design just a little home. Now, this took me a while to learn, but basically what I like to do is this is the wall and this is the roof. So let's say this is the back wall. Oh, that's a hideous wallpaper. Um, we'll go with this one. So... Uh, Okay, I guess I just don't like wallpaper. Maybe it's just me. Um, and then up here, there you go. 
So by doing this, you create the illusion of walls and you can kind of map rooms that way. Uh, leave a space for the exit because otherwise your player doesn't know where they're supposed to go when they leave. So there you go. And if you right click, you will switch to whatever you just clicked on. Okay, now here's a problem because my character can't move there. So I can hold right click, drop this down to here. Right click here and erase that. And this. And there you go. So it's, it's really easy and straightforward to use really fun to make maps like this and let's what is this floor don't judge my interior design skills this is beautiful it's a work of art and I will not be slut shamed for my interior design choices okay 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 that actually does look weird anyway now in the B tab or the C tab. Where's the furniture? Ooh, this is pretty cool. So let's put that on the wall. And then we're gonna we have a little kitchen. So we could put that on a higher layer. Or not. <laughs> put a little fan up here for the cooking smells to go away. And here we got a, a nice little couch. Very fancy. Um, I just realized I didn't make a bathroom, so we'll just put the urinal in the kitchen. It's the future. You can go to the bathroom wherever you want in the future. Oh, I guess the fridge should go there, actually. The urinal will go next to the fridge. Great. Now if we scroll down some more, here we got some beds. We're gonna do this one and just put it right there. It's out of necessity, a character can sleep. Now let's put a little place for them to eat. Although I don't see any tables. Okay, in the future there's no dining tables. Oh, here's a table. <laughs> a very sad little table, but here's a chair. Here's another chair. There you go. They have a place for for eating. And they got these really cool sphere chairs, which is awesome. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, as much as I'd like to put a coffee table here, there's no room for my pair, my player to to walk around. So be careful with that. Okay. So you get the idea, you can go crazy, but now we're going to make an exit for this room. So we're gonna double click here, and I'm gonna show you how to make a door from scratch because here we don't need a door opening event, we just need the player to leave. So double click, so you got all of these, we're going to, where is transfer player? There we go, transfer player in the second tab, and we're gonna click on the map that we want, tell them to go here and to face down so that they're facing the correct way when they exit the building. And before we test that out, we're gonna go back and we're gonna set this to transfer the player to the inside and put them there and make sure that they're facing up. Okay. <laughs> oh God, I didn't mean to do that, but that's amazing. Okay. Now we're gonna walk in here and look, we're in our cool sci-fi house. Wow. And that is essentially how you make a map. So now you see I'm walking over these chairs. We don't want that. Well, that's weird. I guess you can walk from this side, but you can't walk past it. Okay. Okay, RPG maker, whatever you say. Now, one quick thing I wanna show you, just because it's, it's fun, you can add uh, and this is really important if you're making games, add little uh, inspection things. So let's say the, the player wants to like be like, why is there a urinal in here? You double click it, urinal. And show text, it's the very first thing. Why is there a urinal in the kitchen? Ew. Okay, and then make the face. 
<laughs> the displeased face and what's her name wedgie cool so now you can have your player interact with <laughs> what is this game becoming you can have your player interact with things so i'll go over here why is there a urinal in the kitchen ew see it's so cool this is so easy and so fun to to learn so um your homework, whoops, your homework is to make another environment. I don't care if it's interior, exterior, fantasy, sci-fi, whatever. Make a new map and make doors to go between them and add some of those, those description things where you can examine stuff and your character can have some fun. And if you're feeling up to it, I would also recommend you make a shop. Something that just looks like a shop because we're going to do a shopkeep at some point. But anyway... That's it for part four. I hope you're having fun. Please leave a comment down below and let's keep going. Let's make some games. Yeah.